brothers welcome back to territorial oh my goodness hold on <laughs> dot io we are starting off today here in a 35 person free-for-all battle and i saw what i like to see in africa which is a bunch of open land and hopefully nobody comes in a little bit closer this is all going to be mine if we can work this out just right so keeping an eye on it nobody did move in at the last second but we do need to zoom out a little bit make sure that nobody did come in and we're good we're golden pony boy all right <laughs> Let's uh, take a look at our neighbors, see who we're dealing with here. We got Gravitas, we got the Russian Empire, we got the British Empire. Ooh, a little empire battle right away. Ohio's already left. We got uh, Argentina, Argentina, NATO, <laughs> Nardo, whatever. All right, he's over there in the east. So he's growing, he's doing the very aggressive expansion opening. We're about to hit into our infinite growth time, so this is going to work out lovely for us. And uh, we are going to just keep growing and getting big. We're, we've already taken the crown for ourselves. And... We have a lot more land to get to. We are very fortunate with this spot. And when you get a spot like this, it's it's just beautiful. There's so many things you can do. So many more opportunities you have to attack the right bot because you touch so many of the bots. So I do need to cut off Gravitas a little bit. Let's go down here, get that as well. And I want to make sure that he doesn't have all of the land that I have access to and all the opportunity that I have access to. So he's trying to cut me off. I'm going to try and cut him off and we'll just do that through Fanny if he really wants to kind of play it like that. But uh, we'll go into this spot as well and just keep looking for some weak opportunities. This is good. This is good. We'll go up here and this is a great opportunity here, here. And we do get the crown again. We have a lot of troops to show for it and still more room to grow. So let's just keep up this growth uh, potential and uh, take a look around and see how the rest of the world is doing we're still doing pretty good gravitas is having to fight um this ohio bot over here so that gives us a lot of opportunity to just kind of save up a little bit potentially go into him with a few attacks we'll see how that kind of works out the british empire was able to work his way up into the iberian peninsula so he's going to get rather big now the commonwealth i'm not going to go into this island i'd rather watch you know what why not why not us why not now Let's grab all of this land and push into this bot these two bots are fighting each other and everybody up here is having to kind of sit back and wait and i think if we can get up there we're going to get a substantial amount of land for rather cheap and we have the troops to do this so let's get it done and just get a little bit of land up here i don't i'm not sure how much this was really worth it in the long run but getting a little bit of land is going to help us out we do have two or seven hundred thousand so let's keep saving up i'd love to go into gravitas he's in the fourth place position so he's going into russian empire i'm going to give him a big attack surprise i'm also here we get the crown back, which is lovely for us. We do get attacked by this player. Did he just become a bot? No, he did not. He gave us an attack, which was a little bit on the foolish side. We're going to keep going into Gravitas. I imagine that, yep, British Empire is going to want to join. He gives us the heart as a little hello. That's perfectly fine. I'll be back for you. Let's try and truce with the British Empire. Hopefully, he's down the clown on that. Let's go ahead and finish up Gravitas. And yes, he does give us the truce, but he's also a little bit on the weak side too. So this guy's sent all of his troops into me. And now he's rather weak and we're just building up strength. You can see player 394 is going into him right away. So that works out nicely for us. We're in a great position where both our neighbors are getting attacked and we can just sit back, build up our troops and then pick on the weakest of the two. And uh, let's get a truce with you. And you are now a bot, so I'm not going to trust waiting around for you to attack and potentially hit me. So I'm going to give you the kind of preemptive strike here and just go into this guy a little bit. We'll go ahead and push into Argentina a little bit as well, just to say hello. Go back up into you. Grab all of this land. You're down all your troops, so let's grab all of your land as well. And now we're in a great position. We do have the crown by a wide margin. We need a little bit of time to save up our troops. Let's go ahead and grab you off the, off the board. And now we kind of have a decision where to go into. We can go into Dog Sitter. We can go into Player 394. I imagine I would probably go up north just because this guy is not that big. He's not in the top 10, and he keeps a good buffer between the a lot of strong players over here. Whereas if I go up here, I don't. I think I can take on these two players, and I don't think this guy's really going to want to join in on attacking me. So we'll just keep an eye out, see what happens over here. If anybody starts to go in on Dog Sitter, I've got great borders on him, so I can go into him right away. But biggest priority for us is we're double everyone's strength in the world, and when you're in this kind of position, save up. There's no You, you have nothing to gain from attacking anybody right now. You have to also recognize that the rest of the world is actively working against you. No one is going to be on your side at this point anymore. Even your so-called alliances, you know, may not be alliances in the long run. But basically why I'm not attacking this guy is I already have a truce and I don't want to fight Jessica. So we're going to go into Dog Sitter. Oh, actually, you're very weak. Let's go into you. 
and just keep pushing into both these guys. I don't mind fighting them all at the same time just because I have so much land and such a huge advantage. Leaving Dog Sitter behind is not a smart move, but I imagine these guys are all going to want to start collapsing on this Brex Trumpet tra anti-vax guy as he only has 2 million troops and he has a pretty substantial amount of land. We do have a Corgi in here. Where's the Corgi? Hello. Hello, sir. It is I, your boy. <laughs> Come to uh, annihilate you. <laughs> Let's keep going into uh, Brexit. We're doing very well here. And just keep knocking this guy down. He's only at 700,000 troops. I want somebody to cut me off there. Uh, preferably not Germany. As Germany doesn't really have a lot of troops himself. But I imagine this is the way it is. You are so weak. I'm going to start pushing into you. Taking all of your land. You only have... Uh, 600,000 so we can quickly knock you off grab a lot more land and just continue to save up We do have 11 million so we can easily repel a lot of the attacks that will come into us But we do need to play this smart and kind of Limit how many neighbors we touch borders with so now might be a good time to start pushing into Jessica Jessica has not a lot of troops left or has a lot of land and is our second strongest competitor pushing into China may not be the best way to go we are going to have to fight everybody at the same time, so getting the rest of you out of the way is going to be very helpful. And then let's grab your land as well. And see if we can start pushing into Jessica before the rest of the world starts pushing us. Jessica immediately goes into us. You offer a truce, I will take it. And let's keep saving up a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to fight everybody, so I don't want to save up too long, but I do want to get up pretty high before we have to do this. This would be a really good target for me to attack, but... Um, we're at 21 million. We do need this guy to go down. But I think, interesting, I think I'm going to go into Jessica. I don't want to feed this man any more land. And let's see, you have betrayed me. That's fair. I understand your reasoning. It's completely valid. Uh, player 394 has also betrayed me, which is a little bit unfortunate. This was kind of what I was talking about where everybody's working against you. You cannot not trust anybody. This alliance I was mutually beneficial for the both of us. It kept him alive and it kept a good border on me keeping not having to fight Jessica on the on the board. So that worked out really nicely. Uh, I am going to go ahead and start working on this guy. He's the second strongest player who is attacking me. So getting this guy off the board will be very helpful. Corgi uh, up here. I'm going to hello heart to you too. It's good playing with you, sir or ma'am or madam or however your just your pronouns are. But it was great playing with you. Anyways, we knocked out this guy. We could start working on you as right now, just kind of starting to whittle you down. You only have 3 million troops right away. This should be the last attack that you have. And there it goes. He's out for the count. It's going to grab Sicily and some of his little islands along the way. And then we can start pushing into this guy. The bot does attack us, which is perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and grab this last little island right here. And Germany will grab you a little bit of land. Okay. So we were able to conquer the world in pretty good time. And we were able to make a friend along the way with a little Corgi boy. So as we wrap this game up, we'll say GG's to all involved, look for the piece, and then we'll be on to the next one. All right, next game up is going to be a little team action here in the swamp. We are up here in the north looking pretty good. Our teammate's over there. That is not a good spot. You don't want to be that close to the corner. You want to have a little bit more room for expansion. The yellow player wants to go right there. You can have that. I'll take this corner of the map. It's a lot less centralized, a lot more room. I wish my green teammate would come over here. I wish you could potentially signal players to kind of be like hey this is a better spot just fyi but you don't have that level of communication in the game for good and bad i will say there is a, one of the beautiful things about this game is there's no toxicity because there really isn't a lot of ways to communicate yeah you can still be toxic but not to the extent of let's say a call of duty lobby in 2012 that <laughs> that is uh you want to meet the worst of society that's right there all there for you on a platter but let's keep an eye on this game we do have p S O S W O right here. That is our closest player, but he's kind of distracted by taking out a bot right, right away. So we're going to have a little bit of room to keep expanding. Hopefully we can make it through there. If that bot would stop attacking, I'd love to be able to squeeze through that. And we are able to get through that. So that's really good for us. And now we just need to keep an eye out on some weak bots and find out where we can attack. That's going to be a good one for us. That's good. And unfortunately these bots are kind of in disengaging rather quickly. So we're, we're kind of running up against it's Oh, we are getting attacked right away. Okay, interesting strategy there. Uh, the best, in case you do want to know, the best strategy for this is just to ignore him. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything, and what we're going to be counting on is outpacing him in our overall growth strategy. So you can see we're already much bigger than he is. He does have kind of the same some amount of troops as we do, but we have so much land that he has that same level of troops with a lot of our troops out and about attacking. So 
Again, his attacks don't concern me. Just ignore them and we'll come back to him in a little bit. But for right now, our goal needs to be expansion and we need to get on that as soon as possible. Just grabbing as much of this free land as we can. Let's push over into here. Yeah, this guy's just out for blood. He's attacking everybody. That's a great opportunity to get this bot. Let's get you down and let's go back into you and back to you. Oh, you got all your troops back. You have so many troops. We do need to kind of start worrying about the bots over here. Let's get this guy. This is another bot. This is a bot. Okay, we still have a lot of room to grow. As you can see, we're now have the crown and we're in a great position, even though this guy's been attacking us the whole time. It doesn't even bother us. We can just keep freely expanding. We have so much room to go into. So let's keep going here and here and here. And now we got to slow our roll a little bit as we again are being attacked. So let's just get these last bots out the way. And that should be the end of that. And now we just go into a saving mode. We do get a truce with this player down here. That's wonderful. We do have a little bit less troops than this player right here, which is a little bit concerning. Where's our teammates? They are right there. They're not necessarily in the best position, but hopefully we'll be able to survive long enough to kind of make something of themselves. We, on the other hand, just need to be saving. There's a great opportunity for teams to uh, go against us right now. This guy getting very big is very concerning for us. He is in third place. This is the second strongest player, and he's unfortunately probably going to go through the rest of our teammates, but... Our goal is just to save for right now. Just keep building up our troops, get to maximum interest. We haven't been attacked by SWO for a little bit, so that is a silver lining if there ever was one. And we do have the crown, which is something to keep in mind. Even with player uh, 4496 having a lot of uh, expansion opportunities, we are just building up our troops. So hopefully we'll get those same opportunities here shortly. We do have 5 million troops, and I'd love to go into this guy. And I think I might be doing that here in a little bit, but he has a little bit of in the middle syndrome which <laughs> he's uh, not in a great spot. He wants me to attack SWO because he's getting annoyed by him as much as I am. So we will just try and keep an eye on this. We do want to push over into this player or potentially downwards. That might be the smart play is this guy's in now third place and there's a lot of weakness there. So I am going to actually do that. He only has 3 million troops and I want to make sure that that stays, that number stays low and then we keep getting this opportunity. He does counter attack us for a little bit, nothing too concerning. We uh, are not getting attacked by P, uh, SWO so we'll keep grabbing this land he's down to 1 million troops and we have so many and there's a lot of weakness behind here so let's keep going we're up we're up very high in terms of overall troops so let's just attack everybody at this point keep grabbing all the land wherever we can and just keep working our way through we do have a strong power base and it's gonna be hard for this guy to necessarily boat around us so that is not the most concerning thing as you do have 12 million troops so we're all pretty much in the money Turk does go down which is unfortunate for us and here comes player 496, and I'm immediately going to boat into him. I want to keep him weak. I'm not that concerned about the red team. This guy is a little bit concerning. But pushing through this guy right away is going to be the winning strategy here. As we do have 26,000, it is not enough to survive the world's attack. But if we take out the strongest player before he has the opportunity to build up his troops, this is a great strategy for us. And we can strengthen our teammate over here by attacking this player. So that is our goal. We need to knock down this guy as soon as possible. Anybody else attacking me at this point is just going to be ignored. Need to keep that this guy down. He's going to be trying to viciously attack us to try and keep us off. You do lose all your land. That's wonderful for us. And we'll just keep pushing into this guy. And this is, again, a very big concern. He's gaining a lot of troops, but this is still a very large target. We've got him on the ropes. He only has 6 million left. We are at red interest, so we're just going to keep pushing into him. More importantly, we have more troops than this guy. So... He is unfortunately attacking our teammate, but we have committed to taking out this guy. And as soon as we're able to get this done, we'll be able to turn on this player. But let's give him an attack. Say, no, do not attack my boy. Do not attack him. Let's go ahead and get through this. And that should be the end of you. And then let's go into you pretty heavily. Let's give you a big attack. Yeah, let's knock you down pretty heavily. And just make sure that there's not going to be an opportunity. He full sends on the red player, which is very fortunate for us. But at this point, there was no stopping us. We were able to get this done. He does full send on the black player now. And there we go. So this is going to be a nice, easy victory. Let's go ahead and clean this up and clean this up. Let's give big attacks in here so we don't have to do it again. And there we go. A nice little victory. Unfortunately, we weren't able to save our teammates, but we were able to win the game. And thanks to their efforts installing the blue player, we were able to get to him before he was able to do a lot of damage. So as we do wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made this far in the video. If you have made this far in the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.